I preached, uh, I don't know, several weeks ago, a couple months ago. I think I preached at Revival of Jody. Don't you think he deserves our alabaster box? Oh, yes. Alabaster box, as I preached, it was sort of like a hope chest. Hope chest. Don't hear much about it. I don't know if these young girls still does or not. Jenna, you got a hope chest? You better not. You ain't going to need it. <laughs> My sister's had one. I'd laugh at him. A hope chest is a box you put stuff in. Plan them for that special day. Toby would, she'd meet that special person in her life. I don't know about you, but boy, this excites me. This woman and Andy talked about, she'd been to a bunch of men. It always bothered me. You know, the prostitute got the bad rap, but all of her customers, you know, they... Isn't that upside down? She bore all the blame. She was no good. What made her no good was that no good guys had come to visit her. But anyway, she had, she had met several men. Even though she had met them, maybe spent time with them, wasn't nobody she wanted to spend her life with. Come on, preacher! You're right. I heard Brother Mike say here a couple weeks ago, I was listening to him preaching. He said a man jumped all over him. He said, I ain't read nowhere in the Bible where people's got to holler and spit and shout. Mike said, You're right, I ain't either. He said, But every one he touched did. <laughs> I've been touched. He excited me. That woman had that alabaster box and Miss Andy said perfume was, you know, if you had perfume, you had something. Special perfume. perfume. She wasn't going to waste it on just any old Joe. Hallelujah, remember. Maybe some of her girlfriends said, well, why are you doing carrying your alabaster box? Today. Ain't nobody gonna have you. She said, That's all you know. I'm getting ready to go meet the love of my life. Yeah. Hey, Brad Trevor. Yeah. Are you sure? I'm sure. Have you met him yet? I ain't met him before. I ain't never seen him. I've heard about him. You mean to tell me you're going to take your prized possession to somebody you've never met before and you're going to give it to them at the first meeting? That's what I'm going to do. How do you know you'll have it? <laughs> Help me, boy. I like that. One of her friends might have said, How you know you'll have you? I ain't putting you down or nothing, but you got a record. You got a past. I believe she had a ride made up, Andy. He'll have me. He'll have me. I don't know if he'll have me or not. There was a little bit of doubt, I'm sure. But I was going to still give him my all. Imagine Jesus, Zach, when she walked in. I want you to look at that. 
Here comes a lady bringing her alabaster box. I believe he was touched from that very moment. Alabaster box was a prized possession. Preacher, I'd give him my alabaster box if I had one. You got one. You know what our alabaster box is? Ourself. Come on, church. You said no, it ain't. Yes, I differ with you. Amen. The Bible said in Ephesians chapter 5, no man ever yet hated himself. Yeah, but my alabaster ain't much. My alabaster box ain't much. That's what I felt that he was tickled to death to have it. My alabaster box didn't have no sweet smell of perfume in it. All I had was scars and knocks and lies and corruption. But I brought it to him. And he received me. I've had folks to tell me that they didn't think they was that bad of a person. I'm glad for them. I was a bad person, Andy. And I would hope that I, that I would be sorry enough to shed enough tears to wash his feet. At least settle the dust. So that's what I want to ask you this morning. Would you give him your alabaster box? He don't want your money. He don't want you to deny your friends. He just wants you. Can you imagine that? Look at yourself. Look at yourself just a minute. Could you imagine somebody knowing? I can't speak for nobody in the building but myself. Man, that's love. What God say? You say, God, you want my house? God said, No, I don't want your house. I don't need it. Don't want it if I need it. You want my kids or my prized possession, my my companion? Don't want them either. You want my car? You want my money? No, don't want none of that. What can I give you, Lord? Lord, look at us and say, I want you. I done paid you debt. I want you to redeem it. I want to redeem you. I want you. Every head bowed, every eyes closed, and I want you to listen real close to this song. Love took it away. Go ahead, son. Once I bore burden free, I was weary. But no more I bear its weight. I'm pardoned and glad. A love divine, at last I know. No longer I'll stray. On without a stain I go. Love to give. Yeah. 
youthful pranks love to get away. Once my record was unclean, my spirit was warm. Listen, but now my name on high seems just as fair as the morn. is mine with Jesus I'll stay my sin no more makes me repine cause love took it all away it's love took it away that wonderful day it made me Andy, Toby, Ronnie, and Zach to come and kneel at the altar if they would.